were asked how many triangles will balance the circle and square shown here at the bottom, and were given that three circles balance with two squares, and one square balances with three triangles. So the idea here is that you've already thought about this question. If you haven't, you may want to pause the video before viewing the solution. Because we know one square balanced with three triangles, and we have two squares here, we can perform a substitution and replace these two squares with six triangles. By performing the substitution, we now know that three circles balance with six triangles, and if three circles balance with six triangles, we should be able to recognize that that means each circle will balance with two triangles. And let's go ahead and show that. We now know that one circle balances with two triangles. Well, if we know that one square balances with three triangles and one circle balances with two triangles, we know that one circle and one square would balance with a total of five triangles. Let's also solve this using a more algebraic approach. Let's let each circle be equal to x each square be equal to y, and each triangle be equal to z. Because three circles balance with two squares, we could represent this as an equation where 3x equals 2y. And because one square balances with three triangles, we can represent this as the equation y equals 3z. Our goal here is to determine what balances one circle and one square. So algebraically, we can say we want to determine what x plus y would equal in terms of triangles, which would be in terms of z's. We're looking at the two given equations. Because y is equal to 3z, we can perform a substitution for y in this equation here. And when we do this, we would get the equation 3x equals 2 times 3z, or 3x equals 6z, dividing both sides by 3. Notice how we have x equals 2z. From here, if we know x equals 2z and y equals 3z, then we know that x plus y would have to be equal to 2z plus 3z which equals 5z. Remember, each triangle is represented by z, and therefore, since x plus y equals 5z, one circle and one square is equal to five triangles, as we see here. I hope you found this helpful.